Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Amsen and uh, today we have another live coding uh, session. Today we are diving deep into a fantastic problem called uh, sort array by priority. So we will uh, break it down, uh, code it up and uh, yeah, explore the logic and intuition behind every step. So we will try to implement it in uh, Python and guess what? We have the solution in other languages too. Uh, so let's get started. So the task at hand is pretty uh, intriguing. We uh, are given an integer array nums and our goal is to move all the even integer at the beginning of the array uh, forward by all the uh, odd integer. Uh, it's a great exercise to understand array manipulation and also to pointer so now uh, let's understand uh, the logic before we dive uh, into the code. So we will use two pointer, uh, i and j, and i starts from the beginning and j starts from the end of the array. And we continue to move i uh, right and j uh, left, swapping uh, when uh, i pointer uh, to uh, an odd number and j points to an uh, even number. So uh, if we look at uh, example, so it's uh, pretty uh, straightforward. So given array three, one, uh, two, uh, four. So we have uh, our pointers uh, i, uh, j, and basically uh, what we are doing. So we need to have it, uh, yeah, so it j uh, rearrange. So uh, even are on the left, so two, four, and follow it by uh, three, one. So those are uh, old number and those are uh, even and we need to uh, traverse it. So basically it's uh, quite intuitive. So let's implement it. So ij will be zero and len num minus one. And while i less than j and while i less than j and num i modulo to uh, zero. So it's uh, even i uh, plus one. And while i less than j and uh, num modulo to one, so it's odd j minus one. And num With swapping so uh, ij and j uh, i and finally we return our uh, now uh, so great uh, now uh, we uh, will use a, a, so we have a while loop uh, to continue until i is less uh, than uh, j and inside uh, this loop uh, we add uh, two uh, nested while loops to increment i if it points to an even number and decrement j if it points to the uh, odd number. Uh, so perfect. And then uh, we just uh, swap uh, elements at i and j. And finally, we will return, yeah, so we return uh, our uh, modified num array. So uh, let's uh, run it for given test cases to verify it's working. So yeah, all good. And now we can also uh, submit it for unseen test cases. And yeah, all good. And as you can see, uh, our implementation beat 96% with respect to uh, memory and also 76% uh, with uh, respect to uh, runtime. So uh, it's uh, quite uh, good. So, uh, and yeah, so uh, everything work uh, perfect. Uh, so uh, if you are interested in implementation in other languages uh, like uh, Go, uh, Rust, uh, C++ and much more. So I will provide a link in the description below. So yeah, basically from different languages, Rust was the fastest, uh, yeah, beating 100%, uh, but basically the runtime was just uh, zero milliseconds. So it's quite interesting to uh, yeah, compare uh, the logic uh, 
and uh, dive uh, a bit uh, deeper. So uh, today we explore the sort array by parity problem, uh, understood the logic and implemented a Python solution. So uh, we uh, unveiled the beauty of array manipulation and learn how to bring uh, harmony uh, to our array by sorting uh, it based on a given parity. So I hope you found this session uh, interesting and enlightening. And if you have any question, uh, thoughts or uh, alternative solution, uh, drop a comment uh, down below. And if you enjoyed this session, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more coding adventure, uh, tutorial, machine learning, tech, and uh, much more. Uh, all right, so uh, signing off, uh, keep exploring, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.